Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are a regular, you would know that I usually post about my daily life vlogs, uh, vlogs and meal preps, grocery hauls, all the things like that. But today I'm going to talk about personal finance and this is in partnership with Hey Alfred. I'm going to talk about the importance of tracking your expenses in times like these. If you don't know already, I blog my personal expenses every single month on my website at mimirello.com and today we are going to talk about personal finance. And I'm also going to show you how to use their app. It's very easy. I personally think that this is a very crucial time for everyone to learn how to manage their expenses. If you've never done it before, this is a great place to start because it tracks your expenses for you. All you have to do is just link your account to it and then it does all the magic. This is a Malaysian startup so you can see um, that you can link your banks like Maybank, CIMB, um, RHB. Because many of us are also using e-wallets, they are also working on that. Currently, you can link your Maybank May account but they are working on things like GrabPay and also Touch & Go e-wallet. So you should definitely check this out. Alright, let's start with the tutorial first. Okay guys, let's start with the, the tutorial. This is going to be a quick and easy one. Now this is the app and just click it to go in and then this is the whole home page and if you are a new user just go here first so that you can do your setup for everything. Now let's go through this one by one. Link your bank account. They have all these banks like Maybank, CMB Bank, RHB Bank and they also have e-wallet but currently you can only connect it to your May but the rest is still like in the works so yeah you can check this out and download the app first and try to get a feel of everything and I'm pretty sure that you know it will be available in the future like soon so these are the three banks that are available right now but um, they are going to add more soon let's say um, you have a me bank then you just click and then you sign in like normal it will take a few minutes for it to kind of do it set up connect it to the app but once it's done i've already linked my rhb it will appear over here in your recent transactions and um, you can actually like categorize it here previously it was a transfer but I changed it to grab you can change it to anything let's try okay you can change it to any merchants let's, let's say if you like um, bought something from Ace Hardware this one then you just categorize it as that if you spent it on grab then you just categorize it like that here is where you can choose the categories so um, there's like fuel health insurance all these things that everybody you know uh, spends on and this is the account that it was detected on and this is the uh, transaction date so you can change like all your um, transactions like just to categorize it and everything now moving on to the next one is set an income if you are connecting it to your bank account and your bank account is the one that is receiving the income you can straight away sync with bank transactions but I'm not using RHB for any income so I have decided to like manually connect it so you can do it like this So just add all this information and then it will appear like this. So I set up pet sitting at 2000 and this is the date. So yeah. And then the third one is set recurring bills. The purpose of uh, setting this recur recurring bills is so that the app can remind you to pay your bills 7 days before the deadline. Now you can sync with account and they have all these options to choose from like Netflix because everyone has Netflix, Spotify, 
Telkom, Axiata, Time Internet, U-Mobile, TNB. But if it's not there and you want to add your recurring bills here, you can just manually add it as well like this and it will appear like this. So these are like my recurring bills. For the fourth one is set a monthly budget. And as you can see here, your monthly fixed expenses uh, is this 1157. And this number came from this, your recurring bills. So that's how they got it. And how do um, they get like this maximum number of 825? Basically, your income that you set, it, that, that is minus by this. So this is the um, maximum monthly budget that you can set. So let's say your income is uh, that you set is 3000 and then you deduct by this, it will come up a higher number than this. So you can set a monthly budget, say uh, 757 seven, and it would your monthly saving would be 84 and 20 cents. Last but not least is link and investment portfolio. So at the moment they have um, A and B and for cryptocurrencies they have Luno. And this one was actually newly added because I didn't see this like last month. So I was quite amazed by this. Like wow. If you've never traded cryptocurrency before, maybe you should check that out and then link it here. Then you can see your investments in this app. So basically, this app gives you a bird's eye view of everything. It helps you to remind like when to pay your um, bills on time. And then it also helps you to categorize everything. Another thing that I want to highlight is Ask Elfie. So it is this and you can ask the app anything and it will ask you which account that you want to find out so you just click it and then it will appear so uh, as you can see from above here some questions cannot be answered yet because Alfie is still learning but yeah you should try it out for yourself Here you can see your total cash account balance and it lets you like see it or hide it and your total investment portfolio so you can like see everything in one go. This is all the settings that I'm not going to click it because my personal information is there but you can try it out. Okay for um, this little thing here you can actually see like all your expenses and then like this um, chart here so if i had the uh, sync income it would track here as well and here you can see your expenses in the calendar view so this is actually quite good it's very easy for people who don't want to track like it who don't want to track it like as a list Okay guys, that's about it for this little tutorial. I will link Hey Alfred's tutorial in my description box. So if you want to check another one, you can check that out. It's their official YouTube channel. I will also link um, my blog post, which will be, you know, for people who prefer to read than to watch like videos. It's at my website at mimiro.com. Okay, thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope that you enjoyed my little tutorial. Go to my website if you want to read and learn more about Hey Alfred or you can go to their website or you can download their app.